Urine is a waste product that is produced in the kidneys as they clean the blood. The urine is collected in the bladder. Urine contains chemicals that your body does not need, and it can be harmful to your kidneys if it moves from the bladder back to the kidneys. Therefore, you must make sure to drain the urine from the bladder on a regular basis. Four to six times a day is appropriate, depending on your fluid intake, diet, and medication. Take your time to ensure that the bladder is emptied completely each time, as urine left over in the bladder might cause infection of the urinary tract. In this film, you will learn step by step how to empty your bladder. It is relatively simple really, but will of course require some practice. Start by washing your hands thoroughly with soap and water. Remember also to wash your thumbs. Make sure to have all the equipment you will need ready before you start the catheterization. You will need a catheter of the appropriate size and a urine bag. You will also need soap with a neutral pH value, some cotton wool pads, a drape, and perhaps a pantler. Remove the cover label from the adhesive spot. Then attach the adhesive spot to a clean surface. The pouch must hang vertically and so that you can easily reach it when you're ready to use it. Open the upper end of the peel pouch by pulling the ring towards yourself and then downwards. To avoid spillage of the liquid inside the pouch, only peel until you see all of the funnel connector. Connect the urine bag to the funnel connector at the catheter and place the urine bag in a secure position. Pull your clothes down so you have free access when doing the catheterization. Use a pantler or a coat hanger for holding your clothes in place. If there is a possibility you might be able to urinate, always try to before you use a catheter. To prevent pushing bacteria into the urethra and bladder when you use the catheter, you must first clean the head of your penis properly. You can use gloves if you prefer to. To avoid wetting your clothes, make sure you place a drape under your penis. For hygienic reasons, the drape must be disposed of after use. Gently pull the foreskin back and wash the head of the penis. To remove any bacteria that might be present at the opening of the urethra, you should wash in a circular motion, starting at the urethra and working outward. Use each cotton wool pad only once. From this point, make sure that you keep holding the foreskin back and that you do not touch the head of your penis with your clothes. Remove the catheter from the pouch. You will notice that the first five centimeters is lubricant free, so it is easier for you to hold. Make sure that the catheter does not touch anything before you enter it into the urethra. If it does so, you must use a new catheter. Touching the sink or your clothes or skin, for example, will contaminate the catheter and can potentially cause infection. Hold your penis pointing upwards and close to your stomach. This will ease the insertion of the catheter as the natural S shape of the urethra is changed into a U shape. Provide a gentle pressure to the head of your penis in order to open up the urethra, but be careful not to squeeze your penis as this may obstruct the passage of the catheter during insertion into the urethra. To help insertion of the catheter, it is important that you relax. Slowly and gently insert the catheter into your urethra as you have been instructed. It is normal that you feel resistance from the sphincter, so be gentle. Continue to insert the catheter until it reaches your bladder and the urine starts to flow. Then continue for a few centimeters further. When the flow stops, move a little and straighten yourself up to make sure that the bladder is completely empty. Then slowly remove the catheter. If you use a regular catheter with a straight tip, 
it is recommended that you slowly rotate the catheter as you withdraw it and stop each time more urine drains out. This is to ensure complete emptying of the bladder. You can dispose of your catheter and the packaging in your household rubbish. Do not flush it down the toilet. If you have used gloves, throw these away as well. Wash your hands, and you have completed the process.